did it for me. I did it for you. I did it for all of us. Yeah, no. Nadie le hago, nadie le hago strong here. Lo hice por mí, lo hice por ti, lo hice por todos nosotros. Vacúnase hoy. So that everybody's life can go back to normal. Please get vaccinated today. Thank you. I did it for me. I did it for you. I did it for all of us. Yeah, no. Nadie le hago, nadie le hago strong here. Lo hice por mí, lo hice por ti, lo hice por todos nosotros. Vacúnase hoy. So that everybody's life can go back to normal. Please get vaccinated today. Thank you. Okay, so good morning to everyone. We are here at the FFB headquarters and we are super excited for the launch of Soka Loka. My name is Yashvin Huan and I will be your MC for this morning. And like I said, we're super excited. So Kaluka, we've been working with the So Kaluka team to get this going. And so we are very happy to be here this morning. I will pass it on to Mr. Rafael Avila, our competitions director. As he will be doing the official welcome this morning. So Mr. Avila, the floor is yours. Thank you, Ms. Wan. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, it's a pleasure to have my colleagues present today, uh, Soka Loka colleagues as well. You know, we have Gayatri with us, we have Lionel, Daniel, and Saif. You know, it's good to, to be partnering, partnering with uh, Soka Loka and Matchmaker. And uh, we are all excited. We welcome the media houses as well for for this event, it's you know it's a first in place for the federation as well. We have signed a memorandum of understanding, and we are ready to kick this off and ensure that we can have our players participate at the same time, getting active into the the app, the use of the app. You know, it's gonna be something huge, and I am. Pretty sure that uh, with this, we have uh, our players be scouted, our players be looked at keenly in the sport. You know, we need to showcase our, our players, and through this, we will have our competitions running properly as well. So, um, without much delay, I want to welcome you all once more and um, I'll enjoy the game. Thank you very much, Mr. Avila. And before we move on farther with our agenda, let me just give a warm welcome to our Soka Loka team. Uh, thank you so much for the team for reaching out to the cooperation of these and making this possible. I know that it's been weeks of planning, uh, uh, probably more than weeks. I, I lost track of time, but I mean, it's been, we've been working to ensure that we can kick this off. And I know that the, the benefits of Soka Loka are endless. And so, like I said, guys, we're super excited to be here this morning. I welcome Saif Ismael, who is a co-founder of Soka Loka. And I also welcome Gayatri, I hope I got that right. And Lionel Foy, Executive Officer of Matchmaker LTD and co-founder of Soka Loka. So thank you for being here with us. Now, to move on with our agenda, I welcome... Saif Ismail, co-founder of Soka Loka, who's just going to be giving us an overview of really what Soka Loka is. Like I said, we're excited to be here. The FFB knows what it's about, but I know that our viewers are so much more excited to know what Soka Loka is all about. So Saif, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Yashmin. And uh, good morning to everybody. Um, good morning to everybody in Belize. Um, to um, our colleagues in the FFB and to all the media who have uh, come today. So my name is Saif, uh, um, and I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Sokoloka with uh, Lionel here, who's with us today. And um, to answer Yashmin's question on, on what is Sokoloka, um, I think we need to go in a bit, a little bit into the, the kind of um, history of why we what what is about and what the the objective of Sokaloka is right 
So um, if you allow me, I'll just take a few minutes to kind of explain um, how it came about so that um, you can get a better idea of what we want to achieve. So basically, Sokaloka, um, me, me and Lionel, we are both uh, working in the football industry. Um, and um, one of the things that we, we realized was that um, smaller countries um, kind of um, struggle, I think, in, in showcasing talent and development because of uh, lack of infrastructure, lack of funds, and so on and so forth, right? And what we thought was, what if there was an app that could help to democratize football? What if there was an app that could help to showcase talent and bring talent forward um, from anywhere in the world, right? Um, and you know, if that, if that person or that player has potential, then that player should have an equal opportunity to succeed in the footballing world, right? And football is the, the most global game the most global sport, and we've seen this in this pandemic, right? Um, the importance of football, even though we are in a pandemic, football has to go on. It gives hope to people, um, and it keeps us sane, I think, in this in this time of pandemic. So the, the real thought is, what if there was an app that could really help the development of football, could help the individual player, could help all stakeholders um, in football? And that's where the idea of Sokoloka came out. Um, started from uh, discussions between me and Lionel back in 2016 and I think in 2018 we, we actually said okay let's do this let's build this app right and so what what we have today um, is an app where a player can download the app um, from anywhere in the world right and create their footballing profile and from there they can uh, create a team join a team and once they're part of a team, they can, um, when they play matches in the in the physical world, um, track their career progress, right, through Sokoloka. They can post videos and pictures of them playing, right? Um, and the teams that they join can be part of um, tournaments that are that are organized also on Sokoloka, in their local uh, in in their local areas, and if these tournaments. Um, can then be seen by the people of Koloka as well. So basically we're, we're, what we're doing is we're providing a platform for you to showcase your talent um, to the, the entire world, right? And how um, uh, the Belize uh, or the, the, the National Football Association comes along is that um, we, we welcome uh, for the National Association because once you have a base of people, Um, on the app, right? Um, is in a proactive one like Belize, right? To look at data, look at the insights, and say, how do we help what's going on in the grassroots to progress further? And this is the essence of the uh, collaboration that we have. We are having with the Belize Football Federation, right? Um, we we actually uh, made a presentation in a football conference uh, about six, seven months back, um, and uh, it was an online presentation. And Mr. Avia was in that presentation and uh, he he took uh, he came to us and, and approached us and we started having um, having uh, conversations on Sokoloka and how how the app could help um, the Belize uh, Federation and I think is a lot of credit has to be given to Mr. Villa when he when he listened in and he, uh, he looked at the app he tried the app and he took the idea of the app to the Federation and proactively um, I think uh, brought the idea to the Federation, to the Executive Committee. And I think um, it is through his, um, his vision, I think, right, um, that we are here today um, on um, speaking about this uh, collaboration. And I think um, it is just testimony to him and also the Belize <laughs> Federation um, being the first um, national football federation to be on the Soka local platform. We've, we are quite new, actually, and uh, we are very, very excited to be with, um, in partnership with the FFB. Right. So, does that kind of cover the the, the gist of what Sokoloka is? Yes, sure? Yes, it does. Thank you so much for that. Like, I'm sure that our viewers have a better idea of what the app is all about. And now, I would, 
I would like to, excuse me, Ashwin, I would like to welcome our General Secretary for the Federation who's with us, who has joined us as well, you know, Mr. Earl Jones, and we have Executive Member Jacqueline Pelayo, who I missed out at the beginning. So, good morning, you. good morning. Thank you, Rafi. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Good morning, good morning again, guys. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Avala. I was you, you, you beat me to it because I was just about to, to welcome our general secretary. But now I would like to move on with move move on to remarks from Lionel Foy. And like I mentioned earlier, he is the executive, the chief executive officer for Matchmaker LTD and the co-founder of Sokaluka. Uh thank you, Yasmin. Um I would like to thank the FFB, in particular, Mr. Avila, who has single-handedly persisted with us to ensure that we are sat here today. Um, I would also like, like to thank uh, Yasmin and all the other people from the FFB that we've been speaking with over the last few weeks. Um, your support has been much, uh, is much appreciated. I also, uh, I also like to say welcome to to the press. Um, I'll keep my remarks short because I, I uh, this is a question and answer session, so I'll rather um, answer the questions that you have. But I was given the opportunity to make some uh, remarks, and um, I think Saif has spoke a lot about our journey and how we got the idea behind Sukaloka and what we seek to achieve. But in my remarks, I would like to focus on, on our core values, the values of Sukaloka. What, what, um, what do we stand for? Sa Saif in, uh, mentioned a very important factor, uh, the uh, democratization. We are very passionate about that. And therefore, um, the, one of the key factors that we decided to consider when building our platform is to make sure that we have an, a platform that provides equal access to all. And therefore, you'll find that on our platform, all the services as it stands today are absolutely free to all the users. So we don't, um, we, we don't charge for our services uh, we encourage uh, everyone from all walks of life to join Sokaloka and see for, see for themselves what the benefits are. Um, opportunity is the second value. Um, um, the idea behind that is, uh, I think Saif also mentioned that very briefly, is that we want to provide fair opportunity for all aspiring young footballers, wherever they may find themselves in the world, so they can um, they can they can use Sokaloka as uh, in the knowledge that it's a platform that will provide them with fair opportunity of football of, uh, in their football career, and um, also not just for the development of uh, not just for the football career, but also their personal development in terms of the interactions that they will have on our platform. The third value is safeguarding. We are very, very um, uh, serious about safeguarding our users. Um, I don't know if you guys are, have been following the, um, the, the news or the sports news in the last few months, which have been beset by stories of uh, racist abuse towards professional footballers and social media companies being completely reluctant to, um, to do anything about it. On our platform, we have a zero tolerance uh, policy towards abuse, towards uh, any form of harassment of, of users. And we we'll work actively to protect our users from any sort of harm. Of course, uh, we are an online world, and a lot of the activities that users will be taking uh, will be uh, the use of Sokaloka. Sokaloka is really a companion app for, for the physical world. 
for you to transfer your activities in the physical world onto a platform that is time stamped and is uh, irrefutable proof of your physical activities. And therefore, uh, for that to have the confidence of not just the FFB, uh, our users, uh, we felt that it was very important to, to have uh, uh, very strict criteria on safeguarding our users, particularly as Soka Luka is also open to children under the age of 13. So for uh, kids between the ages of 7 and 13, we have a different type of account for these uh, users. Uh, and they can only access uh, their account through their parents. Um, so those are uh, the remarks that I, uh, I wanted to make today. Um, uh, we are available for further questions uh, that may arise as the press conference continues. Thank, Thank you, you so much for those remarks, Lena. And yes, we will have a question and answer segment if the media you know, would like to engage at the end. But for now, we would like to move on with the agenda. And so next we have a video presentation um, you know, of Soka Loka and Gayatri will, will actually be doing us the honor of pulling that up first. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Just give me a second, please. Thank you so much for that, Gayatri. And now I would like to move on. And since we had our general secretary um, and he could have joined us, I know he's very busy. So I wasn't sure if he would have been able to be here with us this morning. But since he's here, I'd like to give him the honor of doing the thank you remarks. And then we're going to move on to our question and answer segment from me. Good morning, good morning, thanks. Yes, I couldn't miss the opportunity. I could not miss an opportunity like this, not to be online to, to witness this whole agreement, MOU come to fruition and to get some clear understanding of where we are with the whole Soka Loka program so that I can give answers to my executive as well, no? Um, one of the key things before I say thank you is that I listened to the CEO mention just a minute ago the safeguards that are in place to ensure that the data that we we, we, we um, input into this system is safeguarded. This is very important for us because we will be dealing with our young people across the, the country. We'll be putting in information and the least we would want for that information to be somewhere out in cyberspace where we have no control over. Um, and listening to the CEO, give me that reassurance that the data that will be inputted into this system will be properly safeguarded and be used to the benefit and development of our young people. I'd like to say thanks to Rafi for being persistent in pushing this program forward. Um, I know we had a difficult time in trying to convince me so that I can convince my executive member to, to go forward with this whole project. Um, it was not an easy road, but he persisted. And here we are today to make this milestone achievement 
in moving forward in the development of our, of our players throughout this country. I'd like to say thank you for all for being taking the time out to be here, members of the press, the member from the Soka Loka team, and our FFB team, our executive member as well. I'd like to say thank you for taking the opportunity to join us this morning. And we look forward to a better future for our young people using the Soka Loka app. Thank you all. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you very much, GS. And before I open the floor to the question and answer segment from the media, I do like to, I would like to ask. So, what's the next step now, Saeed? Um, can users in the leads or can users start downloading the app? You know what what happens now? Okay. So the 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 next step is I think two pronged, right? Um, one for the users and secondly for the uh, federation, right? So for users um, in Belize, the app is available for download, right? All you need to do is go to the um, App Store um, or the Play Store, depending on what phone you use, right? Um, they're both available there. Type in Soka Loka, um, download the app, and register onto the platform, right? It's a very simple registration process. Um, and once you have your profile, you can start to interact with uh, the functionality that that we have in the app. There's a there's a social feed, and you can start to build your your playing um, bio, your playing uh, biography, right? So that's on the user side. Um, from the federation side, uh, we have actually already started. We had have had talks with um, uh, Mr. from the competitions department, and what will happen is that um, um, when football restarts, right, all the regional level competitions in um, in Belize um, will use um, the Soka Loka competition management module to run um, the competitions, right? And we have already um, provided um, uh, training to the respective um, uh, regional managers, tournament managers, right? and they have uh, already um, got familiar with, with Sokoloka and they are on the ground, I think, um, registering the teams, getting the teams to, to be um, on the platform as well. And I think once the uh, football starts, right, um, immediately you will see the benefits of the app where information about tournaments, um, updates on fixtures, um, updates on uh, results, even videos and pictures of matches um, and stats um, of each tournament, um, both scoring stats, assist stats, um, uh, disciplinary stats um, will all be featured on the app for each tournament and also reflected into the individual um, profiles of the players, right? So that will happen hopefully very quickly once the competition start. And um, we've already seen quite a few users um, from Belize um, on the app. So we're very excited. So that, that's basically the two next steps, right? Thank you so much, Saif. And now I open the floor to the media. If anybody has any questions, this is your time to interact with Lionel and Saif. Now I think you've pretty much explained it. It's going to be a, a platform that coaches and sponsors will be able to view the ability and individual talent of the players from videos and images that the players themselves will be able to upload and it will help them promote their career regardless of whether they're um, peewee, first division, semi-pro, whatever level they're at. So um, I think that's a, a great step forward for our kids and I hope it works out okay for them. Thank you so much, Mr. Sigiri. So then maybe Lionel or, or Saif, can you guys touch about, I know that we spoke about how the players can impact, but who else can impact from, or from using or interacting with so, with the Soka Loka platform? Oh, Lionel, you want to take this? You, you go ahead. Go. Okay. 
So um, as we as we mentioned, the, the Soka Loka platform is not just for players, right? Um, what we try to do is we try to integrate as many stakeholders as possible um, onto onto the app. So players is one. Um, we also recommend we we, we um, want coaches of teams, right? all the um, the grassroots coaches to register as well. You can register as a coach, right? Um, you can register your team onto the app as well, right? And invite players in. Um, and even if you're playing a, a single match between another team, we, we uh, recommend that you use the one-off match feature that, that's in the app to to record that game onto Sokoloka, right? Um, we even go down to the level of if you're having a pickup match, if you want to go for a kickabout, right? Get on the app as an individual, set up a pickup match, and everybody... Um, will be notified that you know we're going to have a kickabout at this time at this place um, and get people to come along and, and, and have a bit of fun right so that's also a feature that is available um, on Sokoloka um, moving up the chain right we also have um, uh, a section for academies right so if it's a small academy um, in, a, in a small area right you can register go to the website sokoloka.football um, register as an academy and straight away you can um, actually set up your academy on the app right? and invite players on the app to be part of the academy um, and from there you can kind of uh, manage the players that you have in your academy um, track their progress um, add notes to them and in the future um, as we as the as the uh, platform evolves right academies um, can showcase these players to, to larger academies or to clubs as well, right? So moving on to that, we also welcome clubs. There's a section for professional clubs. So if the clubs who are playing in Belize um, want to get onto the app, right, do reach out to us. Um, they can be on the app and they will have a specific um, uh, section in the app where they can um, engage with fans, right? Um, post news, um, post um, pictures, videos of their matches um, onto the feed. And as of now, the feed, what you post is global. So everybody, wherever you post, the whole world, who um, all the users on Sokoloka can actually see um, what you post. And um, this is very interesting because if you go on the app now, you'll see some uh, in the feed um, pictures from, from multiple countries in the world, because we have users from, from many countries. So you can see how football is being played in Africa. You can see how football is being played in, um, in, uh, in Asia as well, in certain countries in Asia. And I think it's a, it's a very good opportunity for us to, to kind of look outside and see what's going on elsewhere, right? So just to recap, Yashmin, we have a section for players. You can register as a coach, you can create your teams. Um, if you're an academy, you can register as an academy. If you're a club, do reach out to us, professional club, and we can give you a spot on the app. Um, if you're a sponsor, a commercial business who wants to actually get on the app, there's also a section for you to, to promote your, your brand on the app as well. And of course, um, FFB has their own page on Sokoloka, own section in Sokoloka um, for them to talk about what's going on in the FFB um, and, and, and update people on the app on, what, on, on, uh, on current events, right? So what we're trying to do is build this entire ecosystem, right? Where all footballing um, activity is captured on the app and not only captured, but users can interact with, with each other so that, um, you know, it encourages more activity as well, right? Uh, can the media so the app in any way? Sorry, so, sorry, Yasmin. I was just going to to add to what Saifa said. We also have um, the possibility of football fans uh, for you to join Soccer Local as a fan. Uh, if you don't necessarily enjoy playing football, but you still enjoy following footballers around the world, then you can join as a fan to follow a footballer or to follow your own national team if it's on Soccer Local or any club that you. Uh, you like so there are possibilities there for everyone thank you so much Lana. so with that said i think that we have 
made it very clear and I take this opportunity to invite our users to download the app. It's available on the Android, Google Store and the Apple Store uh, for download, so Kaloka. Um, and you know, we invite our users to, we know that competitions aren't happening in Belize right now, but when competitions do pick up, please do interact with the app as much as possible. So I think all the Soka Loka team for being here with us this morning for the official launch of the Soka Loka app in Belize. We had already prior to this press conference established a MOU with Soka Loka. And so now we just, you know, we are just doing the official launch. Following this press conference, we will be sharing the official press release um, about so the partnership between Soka Loka and the FFP. But I take this opportunity to thank our viewers for tuning in. And again, thanking the FFB team for being here at the Soka team, Soka Loka team. So guys, thank you so much. This We have come to the end of this press conference. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you.